Hey, I'm Bronson, and this is a secondary market update video for Flesh and Blood Bulk. On the screen, I have the Arcane Rising set for 200 common card lot for $17 each, and I'm going to be talking about that. Just to remind you, this is not invest investment advice. This is not an investment channel. I am doing this for entertainment purposes, and I am just a collector trying to get more cards. So, going into these lots... I think that it's important to note that you need to do your math on these lots. And what I mean by that is you take the amount of cards divided by the price. I know that that sounds dumb, but you got to do it every single time or else you may be overpaying for these lots. I will still say that at first, but I, I will also lead that up with, I think buying bulk is smart. I think it's a good idea. I have purchased several bulk lots and I've been very happy because honestly I just love the cards and I, I just <laughs> I want more. <laughs> Give Bronson more, feed me more cards and and when I buy bulk it, it's awesome because I get more cards and and I see how many I have and and can really build different decks and play with my friends and and it's really a fun time where I have like a huge massive, you know, collection to choose from versus if you buy a single booster box you might get a nice, you know, foily cards. You might get nice cold foil, rare, super rare, all these majestic cards. You might get really valuable cards. When you buy bulk, you can get a good amount of cards for a small amount of money. And that's really cool. Like, you can buy a thousand bulk cards for like really great prices. And I think my prices that I'm willing to pay currently. If I see something where Arcane Rising is like two, two and a half cents each per card, I'm buying it. Crucible of War around maybe three cents each. And then Welcome to Wrath more up into the range of, of seven cents each. That That's kind of what I've, I've noticed from the market. Now you'll notice on eBay and other places that that's really hard to find. You can't really find it anywhere because there aren't that many listings for that good price. So I like to look around different areas. I, I, I check Mercari sometimes. Uh, I haven't really found anything there, but I have found different lots on eBay, and I'll contact the seller, try to make good deals. Uh, but I feel like those are kind of my prices on the low end, so those are the low end of the spectrum, but I... I just would advise not paying any more than at least if you're paying more than 10 cents each a card for commons it's it's not a good deal like it's just not if you need to be paying somewhere close to the range of five to six cents I feel like that's kind of the market market mid market high but anything over that five to six range especially for arcane rising and crucible war it's just too much that I mean the welcome to wrath will always be higher I think paying 10 cents each for a common card for Welcome to Wrath is definitely reasonable, but for the other two, I'd definitely pay like five to six cents each. They're just not, they're not that desirable at this point of time, which is, you know, September 27th, 2020. So that's kind of my take on that. But where I'll leave off is I think that it's really smart to buy bulk if you're just looking to get into the game and play and just have a big like collection to to choose from and to to go through different strategies and, and different ideas there's other options too where people sell complete sets of the set so they'll say hey we'll give you like four of each card of the welcome to wrath set or the arcane rising set those are really cool too i love those bulk things as well but for me I, i'm kind of just like an animal with these t tcg cards i just love to just get into them and and go, sort I, I don't care about sorting i'll just randomly go through them looking at all, all the cards and, and and just dig through them and and i love that kind of setup versus having something organized but i definitely see that if you are an organized person and you like things to be sorted and and i do see a lot of value in that because if you're like hey i want to add you know if you want if you have a card that you want to add you can instantly go to where you have it and then add it to your deck so i think there's value in that too but just wanted to give you an overall view of the market of how i see it um again welcome to wrath i think that the mid price for 
cards for Welcome to Wrath for Common are around ten cents. Arcane Rising, Crucible of War, you can probably get them five to six cent range each. Uh, I I tend to try to get it lower, but as time has been going on, it's been harder and harder to find those really good lots where people are just getting rid of all their all their bulk because they don't really care for it. What I will say to end as well is what I'm looking forward into is the unlimited edition for flesh and blood. I think that's really going to kind of light a fire in a lot of people's butts and and some people are going to say, "You know what? I'm done. Done with this game." And and I I'm I, a part of me is sad. A part of Bronson is is a little bit sad and or no, I, I'm I'm really sad. I don't want anybody to leave this game. You know, I I I am sad when I hear people say that. But then there's another greedy Bronson who's very like happy because I'm like hee 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 like I can I can buy this up for pennies on the dollar or like I can get like really good deals because dude I I don't I'm not rich I don't have all this money like I like getting really good deals and I think in the future you're gonna see more people who are just getting out of the game who want to liquidate all their cards and they probably won't value them as much as well and you might get good deals. That's just my opinion of what's to come and, and what I see now on the cards. Again, this is not investment advice, not an investment channel, just doing this for entertainment. And since I'm a collector, I like to buy this stuff up. I want to hold it. I want to be buried in it. And thanks for watching.